It's two things. Number one, my encouragement to all of you guys to not to not necessarily think to yourself, but more so to inquire of the Lord, right? But to think of Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and see the unconditional love and light that he is, and fixate your eyes on him and hear the thoughts that come to your mind as you fixate on him, right? That'd be encouragement number one. And I don't know how many people here are entrepreneurs, but that's one of the things that Sam and I do is every Monday morning, we sit down and we look at the biggest projects that we have in our companies. And we inquire of God, God, what do you want us to know? And what do you want us to do? Uh, which, by the way, that that is the Hebrew word for obedience, right? The Hebrew word for obedience is shama. So it means to hear and respond. That's what obedience literally means. It doesn't mean to read your Bible and do exactly what it says. Although I, you know, there's a lot of credibility in the word of God, right? Like that is the word right. of God, that the word made flesh. It's Christ who died for us on the cross. But if you look at the original language of what it means to obey, right, which Jesus uses when it comes to, hey, if you are my disciples, you will obey, you will follow, you will obey my teachings, you will obey the Holy Spirit, you will obey the word of God. It means to hear and respond. People today think it means to study, be super smart and know exactly what to do. That is not the case. That's what the Pharisees did. The Pharisees did that. And ironically, the Pharisees idolized money. They idolized money. They loved taking the, and they were, and what's, here's what's crazy about evil, right? And this is what I love about the concept of good and evil and God's viewpoint on it is we as Christians desire for the knowledge of good and evil, because then we don't need the Holy Spirit to guide us on a day-to-day basis because the Holy Spirit is not safe. We are safe. Knowledge is safe, right? Us having the process and the mythology Money is safe. Following Jesus and having the Holy Spirit is not safe, right? But it, it requires full submission and absolutely zero fear. So uh, shaman, it means to hear and respond. So that's how I would encourage and challenge people to inquire of the Lord is to hear and respond, right? That's number one. Uh, and number two, uh, the, here's the, the truth that I've learned over, over a very, very long period of time. And unfortunately, through a lot of many hard lessons, is that I care way more about money than God does. That's that's very much of the fact, right? I care way more about money than God does. Because I would imagine, uh, as it says in James, you know, and I'll use James because you use James, right? But it says in James 3 uh, that we are nothing but a vapor in the mist, right? Our life is like the, like the when you spray a bottle, right? Like when you spray <laughs> Febreze, right. you spray, right? It's It's very quick. Right. And if you think about it, like what's the life expectancy, 80, 90 years, right? 80, 90 years in a span of eternity is not a long time. So, I mean, my encouragement for a lot of you guys that are watching is, you know, money is a thing that's only present and only good here on earth. Right. But yet Jesus is it's the second most thing that Jesus most talked about. The first thing that Jesus talked about most often was the kingdom of heaven. The second thing was money. So we'll dive into as we continue this conversation, what Jesus talked about and what he means and what he wants. Because I, I believe, by the way, that if we have the right spiritual perspective on money, it will it will happen for us. Right. Like if you're a, a dad, if you're a God and you're this perfect, loving father, if you have a kid that's more fixated on you and trusts you and has a very healthy viewpoint on money, according to what he believes the father is a healthy viewpoint and is a very good steward of that money. Wouldn't you want as a good father to give more of that to that child? Absolutely. 